marker. So the internet has completely changed the face of retail, and for luxury goods, even more so. There are a lot of rewards for buying online, but there are still a lot of risks. So the question is, how do I know who to buy from? So probably the most positive aspect of buying watches online or an online watch market is the vast access to inventory. In the past, you had access to what your local dealer might have. So if you lived in a place that was off the beaten path, you really had no access to inventory. But right now, you could be living in the woods in Alaska. As long as you have an internet connection, you can have access to basically any watch that you can think of. Another positive aspect of an online watch market is price competition. So again, in the past, you would have to go to your local seller and whatever he was selling this watch for was the local market. Now, it's a global market. So you have sellers from all over the world competing for your business and that means better pricing. So while there are many positive aspects of an online watch market, there are some risks as well. Fake watches, Franken watches, watches being delivered in a different condition than advertised, and also watch retailers that have no ability to back a warranty. Fake watches can certainly be a problem, especially when you're buying from nameless, faceless sellers online. If you've watched one of the episodes that Jason and I have done on Panerai and showing a fake Panerai, you could see they're very sophisticated at certain points and there's a lot of fakes out there that are making it into the market and even unknowingly being sold as real. Fakes doesn't just purely pertain to the watch itself. There are some fakers out there who are making full box sets with cards and booklets and everything completely from scratch and completely fake. So these are things that you have to look for. So just because a watch has box and papers doesn't mean it's authentic. So one of the most important aspects of watch selling is delivering exactly what you are advertising. The problem is with the easy access to programs like Photoshop, pictures of watches can be touched up while the watch itself can remain in poor condition. Franken watch is a term that we use to describe a watch that's put together with either manufacturer or non-manufacturer parts to make the watch whole. So for example, a Rolex Kermit, which is the anniversary Submariner, has a black dial and a green aluminum bezel insert. Well, that green aluminum bezel insert is not that hard to manufacture aftermarket, but increases the watch's value, especially in a time like this in 2018, immensely. So. Oh, somebody can take an original uh, Rolex Submariner, change it, put a green bezel in there, and now the watch is worth more. That's called Franken watch. Also, a watch that maybe is not running as well as it should be can take can have aftermarket parts put into the watch to get it running a little bit better. So a customer is not going to be upset about it, you know, running slow or running too fast. That's also a Franken watch. It's something you want to look out for. When buying a watch online, you want to look for someone who has the ability to back a warranty. If you buy a watch from a unknown retailer and possibly if it's a Franken watch and you send it back to them to get it fixed because the watch stops and they send it back to you and it still stops and you decide, all right, well, I'm just gonna send this in to the manufacturers. They get that watch. They see that that watch has aftermarket parts. They could possibly confiscate that watch and you could be out thousands of dollars. Even if they don't confiscate it, they're gonna wanna replace all those pieces and it's gonna cost you thousands of dollars as well to fix that watch and get it back up to original uh, condition. Finding a retailer that has the ability to back a warranty is really important, but also finding somebody who has the ability and is willing to take a return if need be is really, really important as well. So if you're dealing with a smaller broker or a small retailer that's basically in business day to day and it's relying on every single sale in order to keep their business going, they might not be as apt to take returns and that might be a problem. So maybe you look for a larger retailer who can easily afford to take a return and focus solely on your satisfaction as a customer, not each sale. Outright fraud is also a concern when buying anything online, but especially when sending thousands of dollars to someone you don't know anything about. So there are a lot of ways to protect yourself, but
but you, step one is look for someone who's highly visible, someone like a Watchbox or some other authorized retailer. If the brand itself trusts this retailer, even if they're selling pre-owned watches, it's a, it's a good indicator that this is a, a respectable and a trustworthy source. So the way a watch retailer advertises their watches are really, really important as well. So if you find a seller who has one stock photo of a watch with no phone number, no email, and no other pictures in a, in a stock description of a watch, that might cause you to hesitate. If you find a seller that has you know, five, six, 10, 12 detailed photos of a watch, pictures of the box set and the papers, a phone number for you to call to speak to somebody who can actually touch that watch, and an email address that you can receive extra pictures that you want, that's a great way to find a good seller. So message boards have become really, really important, especially for online purchasing, because not only can you buy a watch from somebody who's posting one on a message board, but you can also look for, it. more importantly, in my opinion, reviews. So people like to complain online, that's a fact. So if you see a lot of complaints from one seller, and it seems like this seller is not delivering time and time again based on online reviews and message boards, maybe somebody you want to stay away from. Also, use payment methods that are going to have some sort of recourse if and when there is an issue. So credit cards, PayPal, things like that. So if you don't want to go to, through a private sale on a forum or a small, say, gray market dealer on a forum, you want to go towards a larger, uh, you know, established seller, look for somebody who, number one, has a uh, relationship with the actual brand that you're buying. So if you're buying a pre-owned Rolex, it might be a good idea to look for someone who's also an authorized Rolex dealer because even if they're not selling you a new watch at that point, they're still held to a certain standard. A lot of collectors, when buying pre-owned watches, will only look for watches with box set and papers. Well, is this important? Is this something that you should be doing? Yes and no. When you're buying from a source that's trusted, box and papers become a little less important. While it's nice to have a full set and know the, the, the actual provenance of a watch, if you're buying a watch to wear and you're buying it from a trusted source, possibly an authorized dealer of the brand, you have no worries about the authenticity, then box and papers only really matter to you personally as a, you know, a want, not a need. But when you're buying from somebody who's not a, not a very well-established seller and you have questions of authenticity, make sure to look for box and papers. If you're out there looking for watches to buy online, number one, do your research. Make sure you know the watch that you're buying online is a watch that you're gonna like because you don't want to send thousands of dollars for a watch that you're going to have to return anyways. Number two, find a seller that is trustworthy, that many thousands of people have done business with, and that you know you can trust. Number three, make sure you know what watch you're buying. So not only are you going to like it, but is this what they're advertising and how do I know? How do I know that the reference number for this watch is the one that I want? And look for a watch retailer that can back it with a warranty and is happy to take returns if need be. I'm Josh of Watchbox and these are the things to remember when buying watches online.